What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial on vector3 dot dot. The dot product takes in two vector parameters. It could be a vector2 or a vector3 and returns the dot product of those two vectors. What is a dot product? The dot product is basically the magnitude of the projection of one vector on another. In order to understand what this statement means, I'm going to have to show you a diagram. Before you go any further, you should first know what a vector's magnitude is. It's basically the length of that vector, meaning it's meaning the distance from its origin to its endpoint. I've done a video on this topic, so if you would like to check it out, I'm mentioning a link on the screen right now and in the description down below. All right, so let's take a look at the diagram. Let's say this is 2D space, and this right here is the origin or uh, 0 on x and 0 on y, basically dead center in 2D space. And this is a point where, let's say, vector A is placed. And this right here is a point where vector B is placed. Now the magnitude of a vector is the distance from its origin to its endpoint. So let's draw a line over here. And Also, let's draw a line over here. So this is vector B, and this right here is vector A. Now draw a line from vector B down to here. This section right here is the projection of vector B over vector A. Now let's take a look at the formula to calculate the dot product. x of vector A multiplied by x of vector B plus y of vector a multiplied by y of vector b plus z of vector a multiplied by z of vector b. This formula is to calculate the dot product of two vector 3 variables. Uh, if you're calculating for vector 2, then you can just remove the z component and carry on with the formula. Now let's test out this formula to see if it works. All right, so what we have here is an empty scene. Create a cube and place it in the center of 3D space. Then make a duplicate of that cube and rename it to cube02. Now add a new script to our cube object. Hit Control shift a and select new script. You can call this calc.prod03, I guess. And open this up in monodevelop. All right, now first create a public transform, call this cube O2. This will store the transform of uh, cube O2. Then public float dot prod, this is gonna, uh, this is basically our dot product value. Then public vector three, cube position, then public vector three, cube O2 position. Now in the update method, cube position equals game object dot transform dot position and cube o2 position equals cube o2 dot position then dot product equals vector 3 because we are talking about 3d space not 2d dot dot over here enter cube position for uh, the first parameter and the second parameter would be cube o2 position save the script oh wait uh, also over here add execute in edit mode within square brackets and hit save this basically means that we don't need to run the game in order to execute this script. Add cube O2 to cube O2 over here. And then this exception should go away. Click clear for that. Uh, the reason why we have uh, created these two variables is so that you don't have to click on cube and then read the values and then click, click on uh, cube O2 and read the values separately. All right, so let's change the position. Set Q 
to be 0 on x, 0 on y, and 5 on z, and cube O2 to be negative 3 on x, and let's say 3 on z. As you can see, the dot product is 15. Now let's follow this formula and see if it's accurate or not. So 0 multiplied by negative 3, that's 0. Then, of course, 0 multiplied by 0 is 0. And then 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. When you add all of them, the result is 15. I chose uh, simpler values over here so that it's easier for you to understand. But you can change the position of these two cubes and set them anywhere in 3D space. And then you can uh, do the calculation on your own. You'll still get the right dot product. Bear in mind, this is not the only formula. This is not the only way to calculate the dot product. It's one of the ways. All right, so now you know exactly what the dot product is and how it can be calculated. There are many uses of the dot product. I'm going to show you two uses. All right, go back to the script and change the name of this variable by hitting F2. Change it to cube rotation. And change this to cube O2 rotation. The reason why we are doing this is because if you just change the name from here, then that change is not going to affect over here. And so you're going to have to manually change it. All right, and now change this to transform dot rotation or transform dot forward transform dot forward sorry about that and change this to transform dot forward as well all right so in this example we are trying to find out which direction the cubes are facing now uh, before you continue see over here it says where it says global if it says global for you as well just click on it and change it to local because we want to look at the local rotation of our uh, object, not the global rotation. Now, as you can see, this cube is facing in that direction. It's pointing, uh, it's forward, let's say, is in that direction. And it's the same for this cube as well. Now, change the Y rotation for this cube, for cube 2 that is, to 180 and now as you can see the cube is facing in the opposite direction so now if you check the dot product it's going to be negative 1 let's change this back to 0 so both the cubes are facing in the same direction the dot product is 1 so this is one use of the dot product another use would be to check if two objects are aligned with each other. So let's change this name to cube position norm and change this to cube O2 position norm. Change the value here to transform.position.normalized and change this as well to transform.position.normalized. Normalized basically returns the vector with a magnitude of 1. When a vector is normalized, it keeps the same direction, but its length is 1.0. Now go back to the editor and notice the dot product. Change your view a little bit so you're looking at it from the top. I currently have cube selected, not cube O2. Now Let's change its x position. Move it towards negative, and you can notice the value is changing. Now change its z position and bring it closer to cube O2. You'll notice the number is changing here and becoming closer and closer to 1.0. If I set this to exactly 3 and this to exactly negative 3, they are both aligned together and our value is 1. All right, now like I said before, there are many uses of the dot product. I just thought I would show you two uses to get you started off. So 
This is how you use the dot product. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to create a 2D Mario style enemy patrol. The video on the top right teaches you how to create a parallax scrolling background. And in the bottom left is the Make a 2D Platformer game series playlist. I'm also accepting donations, so if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address, which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.